Hi there, Anna Stanley and Timmy Parabailey. Coming to you from the Trust Arena where the Magic have just notched up their fourth win in the ANZ Championship over the Northern Mystics, 54 to 51. Bubby, the Magic, they had to work pretty hard for, hard for it. The Mystics started off in that first quarter with a hiss and a roll, but defensively, you'd, ha you'd have to say the Mystics were pretty strong for a good three quarters. Oh, they definitely were. And you look at the deflection stats at halftime, it was 16-7 to the Mystics, and that's due to every single one of those players down there and also to Harrison. Harrison did a great job in there, just being a nuisance, I suppose you could say, and she was just everywhere. Um, Beats and Sokolic was outstanding, and she helped that combination between her and Harrison, and it worked so well. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see when Holly Fowler comes back, whether she actually gets the starting, you know, starting bib, because Sokolic beats and you could argue, she's got that height over Fowler, and certainly worked hard on attack. Well, for the Magic, we can't not talk about their fight back, because in that last quarter, they really came, came through, led by Jamie Lee Price. She came up with some outstanding ball, but certainly the change as well, Griffin came on, and I think that sort of changed things up a bit for the Magic. Yeah, you're right in there, Annie. When Paula came on, she just offered that stableness in the back, and just offered different options in the back there. There was interchange between her and Harton. I think Harton needed to step back a little bit because she was getting wound up in that goal attack position. But like you said, Jamie Lee Price came in and got a few clean intercepts. Everyone stood up in that in that last quarter and I think they've been in that position so many times before and they've still got the core players in there and they know how to win a game. What did you make of Harton's performance? Yeah, I, I thought it was patchy. I thought sometimes she did some great things, but then she got down on herself when she couldn't feed the ball over um, Harrison. And if we look at the stats, look at the attempts, the Magic 66 to Mystics 57, and the score was because of those goal percentages as well. Deflections, they evened up in the end, 22 all. Maria Tutai and, and Catherine Tuivaiti were shooting 100%, I think, till halfway through that third quarter, and the Magic do need to pick up on these stats a little yeah, bit more. and Tuivaiti finished the game on 96%, so pretty good stats from the Mystics, but not good enough. Here tonight at the Trust Arena, the Magic winning over the Northern Mystics 54-51. to